course there was a magnifying glass on, on that situation because of, I mean, the cucumber party and everything of that nature. Do you wish you can take it back? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no, bro. Cause I would have just telling somebody else, like, hey, bro, I'm me, bro. Like, like, if you ain't gonna like me, I can't, I ain't trying to change to make you like me. That's how I am, bro. I'm very, very for something here, bro. That's how I always had it, bro. I ain't gonna change. If I want to laugh at this, I'm mad, bro. I'm gonna smile and I'm gonna smile. If I get mad, mad, that's me. This is why her mama tried to tell her not to go with him because it doesn't matter who daughter you are, he gonna do what he want to do regardless. Uh, the normalize some things that's normalized nowadays. I don't care how old I get or how young I am. I will never allow no man to post a girl shaking their ass. I don't care if she's shaking it to your music. I don't care. Like I feel like it's some it's a respect thing, and maybe that's just not me. Maybe that's just not my crowd or like things like that. But I will never be cool with no man going to no party with no heck of gr naked girls shoving cucumbers anywhere i would never be cool with no man um commenting under a female's picture that's naked Wait, listen, or... listen 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 you better not never date a rapper again then oh yeah i will never because date a rapper let me explain again. something to you about rappers let me tell you something i already about, learned let, my list let me tell you a sorry. secret about a rapper let me tell you a little bit something about a rapper now when rappers around and they get married because you know it's about their music Regina. It's really the women that keep the rappers alive. Now, Regina is correct on one hand. Demand respect from your dude. And if you go on somebody in the industry, it's like this. As long as y'all have some kind of understanding, I mean, shit, everything is everything. All right, you know. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. Okay, so Boosie, he doing all this promotion, right? Okay, so while he doing promoting, he got women with fat asses and fat, you know, vaginas or whatever, popping that shit to his song. So that make the dudes watch like, oh, my God, y'all saw so-and-so, so-and-so. She got a fat ass, her pussy fat. She out there just getting it, you know what I mean? Fucking it up, right? I want my girl to dance to this song. I want to get this song. So it's like they promoting it. So you got to understand the game. It's like this. If you go with anybody out the industry, they may have to like an ugly hoe goddamn picture. They may have to like a cute girl picture. They may have to like a naked hoe picture. I mean, shit, they trying to sell their stuff. That's all it is. And as long as it's just that, there shouldn't be any kind of, you know, misunderstanding. Now, as far as all this, you know, you naked, they, you know, y'all at a party and hoes naked and putting damn cucumbers down their ass and mouth and all this shit. I mean, that's a little bit too much. But as far as, you know, you doing what you got to do to sell your records, it is what it is. As long as it's just that and y'all have some kind of understanding, it's all good.